Hello, welcome back to the Scientia Veritatis channel. We are almost done with our video series about the different mechanics in the Exodus trading card game. Today, we will be focusing on the transform mechanic, which is associated with archive creatures. Now, the transform mechanic revolves around one very important card called the Drifter card, one of which I have here. The Drifter starts in the game face down. A deck may only include one copy of a non-creature Drifter. That Drifter starts in play and cannot leave play. I'm not entirely sure if it can be frozen or not. Drifters cannot be included in decks that include non-archive creatures. So you can only run drifters and archive creatures in decks that only have drifter and archive creatures. It starts in play, it can't leave play. When the game begins, we flip it face up. Now, during the energy phase, a player may add any amount of energy from their hand to the drifter. Say we add three. But again, it is from the hand. Um, that only applies, though, when there is no creature on it. So if we have transformed our drifter, which I will explain in a second, we cannot add energy to it from the hand, except by an effect or ability. Your opponent has to attack the drifter, even if it is not a creature, in order to hit your life points directly. The drifter deals damage equal to the number of, well, th sorry, the drifter does not deal damage, but it um, will take the, it still has the strength of the energy. So say a two energy creature attacked our archivist researcher while it was not a creature, it would lose two energy as normal, but the two energy creature would not take any damage. Any creatures on top of the researcher or other drifter are considered the same creature and they all gain abilities um, of each other. So let's move into our creature phase and we can, I can show you how to transform. It's pretty simple. You take an archive a creature from your hand and you place it on top of the drifter. So, now, the Drifter has an ability, and the new Archive creature has an ability, and now they have both abilities. You can transform as many times as you like on your turn. Theoretically, you could have all the Archives on top of the Drifter. Uh, archive creatures cannot be summoned on piles of energy. They have to interplay on the Drifter. And if your Drifter has no energy on it, say that energy was destroyed, the archive creatures all go to the graveyard. However, you can also not uh, transform your drifter if it does not have any energy on it. So the presence of energy is essential for transforming the drifter. You can use the drifter's ability even if there are no uh, creatures on it, Oh, not in the case of Researcher, because he requires that there be creatures on him. But in the case of a card like Archivist Chancellor, uh, once per turn, you may pay a life point to negate an ability. Um, you can use it even if there are no creatures on it, which is rather helpful in many cases. Thank you for watching this video on Archive's Transform Mechanic. If you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.